Hi, this is Christophe Impicetti for Beefsteak and welcome to this short educational video in which we are going to discuss and I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents in Report Studio. For this we're going to need a few things. First of all, I will create a cross-tab report with a page break. Then I will be using a table of contents object from the toolbox. Then I will be using a table of contents entry object from the toolbox and finally I will use a drill through to a bookmark. First of all let me show you the cross tab report I have prepared for this exercise. So I'm displaying the product type on rows and the years on columns and I'm gonna use the product line to do my page break. So if I'm running this report in HTML for the moment if I maximize this window, this is it. And you see on one page I have the camping equipment and if I click page down I am going to the golf equipment and so on and so forth. What I want to do now is create that table of contents on which I'll be able to select any of my product lines and jump directly to the page I'm interested in. And also what I'm going to do, I will place a drill through to a bookmark to go back to my table of contents. I am back in Report Studio now in my uh, cross tab report. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in the Page Explorer, select my report pages, and you can see my detail page that I have for the moment, you know, my cross tab, and I have this structure because I have already created a page break on the product line. So what I do, I'm going to add a page right on top in front of everything, and I'm going to call this page table of contents TOC I'm gonna press enter what I'm going to do now is double click my table of contents page to edit the page scroll down on my toolbox to locate the table of contents and drag it in my report what I'm gonna do also I'm gonna scroll back up and drag a text item in front of my table of contents and then put a title table of contents. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click the text and make it bigger. 20. And I'm going to make it bold. And just to separate the two, I'm going to click the block and separate the two with 30 pixels by clicking size and overflow. I place 30 pixels for the height of that block. So now to populate automatically my table of contents with my different sections, I am going to go in the Page Explorer, select my Details page, unlock it, and go in my toolbox and scroll down to find the Tables of Contents entry. And I drag this object right in front of my product line. This would have this effect have a look if I go in my page explorer if I click the table of contents you see the product line has populated my table of contents automatically this is it this is all you need to create a table of contents in report studio but if you want to see it you must run it in PDF if you run it in HTML you will not see anything so here I am running my report in PDF I'm going to maximize this window and this is it table of contents and if I click one of the section I jump straight to it. Now to make it even better it would be great to have a link to go back to the table of content to select something else so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close my report I'm gonna go back on the first page and I'm gonna drag one block and another block in front of it. By the way I don't need my report to be unlocked I'm gonna go in the toolbox and I'm gonna drop a bookmark bookmark right on top there and I'm gonna click the bookmark and say it's a text bookmark click the ellipsis and I'm gonna call it table of contents TOC the last thing I need to do is to create a drill through that's gonna take me to this bookmark I just created so I go page explorer click my details page unlock it, use a text item from my toolbox and I'm gonna place it here and I'm gonna say 
go to TOC and I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna click the item and I'm just gonna say drill through I'm gonna specify my bookmark clicking the new drill through bookmark it's a text bookmark and I specify the name I used before just before for the bookmark which is TOC I click OK and I click OK you can see that go to TOC is now underlined this is it all done I'm gonna run my report now to show you the final product the final report I maximize the window once again I'm running the report in PDF otherwise it would not work so this is my table of contents I click golf equipment and I can see my go to TOC I click go to TOC I go back to my table of contents and if I click personal accessories then I see personal accessories thank you very much for your attention this was Christophe Impecciati for Bistec and if you have any questions or if you need any assistance please give us a call you will find all information on our website on this uh, slide here and also you can visit our uh, YouTube channel at Bistec TV to find a lot more of these uh, short educational videos thanks